Do you struggle to win the ball back consistently in FIFA 23? Well, don't worry. If you do this, your defending is going to improve instantly. And there are three steps we have to follow. Well, what am I talking about? I am talking about passive aggressive defending. Pay close attention to these clips, right? Right now we are being passive. Why are we being passive? Because we can see Mbappe is making a run, right? FIFA is a game of chess, like I always say. With that in mind, guys, you have to make sure that you're always defending the dangerous passes. But most people, they always end up marking passing lanes and they give too much time to the ball carrier that he can do anything in the world, whatever he wants to do. Now, what should you do in this situation? You should master the aggressive technique, right? Just pay attention to Theo. Right now, we are passive, right? The moment we see Mbappe is gone, he is not going to play the pass, we take a step towards Jairzinho. We are being aggressive, right? So you, this is the balance you have to find. How can you find this balance? You always have to make sure you are paying attention to the opponent's feet. Yes, see if the ball is close to his feet or not. See if he has more options on the pitch to play the ball towards dangerous passes, right? Right now with Mateus, we can see Mbappe is a dangerous pass. So what are we doing? We are marking him. Jairzinho is a dangerous pass. So what are we doing? We are marking him. We are being passive. But if we stay passive for too long, what will happen? He will have too much time to think and he will make a correct decision. So we have to make sure that he doesn't get too much time on the ball, right? With Mateus, what are we doing? Once again, we are second man pressing with Theo, while with Mateus, we are cutting the passing lane, right? The moment he gets close, we get the ball back with Mateus. This is passive aggressive defending. See this clip in full time, how beautifully we are able to get the ball back. Once you understand this concept, you will improve as a defender. This is high knowledge. Not every FIFA player knows about this, right guys? So make sure that you're paying close attention on these examples. Now pay close attention on this example. It is very important. See, Mbappe is making a run. What are we doing with Kimpembe? We are running back. We are being passive, but we need to make sure that he doesn't get too much time on the ball. So how will we do that? Just pay close attention. What are we doing? We are using second man press. Yes, R1 second man press while his Tony Cruz is making a run. Quadrado is pressing him and we are going to force him into making a mistake. This is exactly what we do and we end up getting the ball back once again. As you can see, Ginola is making a run, but what are we doing? With Theo, we are aggressive. Why are we aggressive? Because we can see that we have surrounded his Alexander Arnold with three players. Yes, three players, guys. And he has nowhere to go. So we are going to force him into turning back. Once he is forced into turning back, he has to think of something else. FIFA is a game of what? It's a game of chess. And we are going to win this chess game. Now he has a dangerous pass into Jairzinho. He is inside the box. He is a five-star skiller. He can skill move past us. So what are we going to do? The second man pressing with Kimpembe. So Kimpembe is making sure that he cannot play the ball into Mbappe. With Tamori, we are passive. Why are we passive? We are passive like this with L2. Because we are passive, we are making sure that if he does a skill move, we have enough gap between ourselves and him that we are able to get the ball back once he performs the skill. Look what happens. He will end up performing the skill move, but we will get the ball back. This is the art of passive aggressive defending. Now you have to learn the art of attacking on FIFA 23. So click here.